Hi, uh, I'm Matt North, I'm one of the science teachers and I've been asked to share with you uh, what we've been doing in science um, with the uh, FROG um, online curriculum development. So um, hopefully you, you can see my desktop here if I click on the subject portal, um, scroll right the way down, go to science. Uh, pick the physics site, it's basically the physics site I first developed that was going to use this um, sort of setup, which is electricity. But this in itself is actually a complete site. Um, obviously, the first thing the students need to be presented with when they log in is their personal details. So we've got this sort of welcome entertainment widget on the home page. Um, but one of the technical uh, problems that we had to address was how best to uh, present the work but delivered in a way which meant for us setting the work it was sort of relatively straightforward um, and it meant that we set them to one self-contained assignment um, and obviously within that assignment that we actually get feedback as well straight into our mark books um, so there was sort of several technical challenges to overcome but the first thing to be aware of was the fact that the the share options in terms of the signing part of the online curriculum come in the form of either a site or a page. Um, this site here is obviously the entire electricity topic, which would be uh, probably a half a term's work, um, maybe a fraction more. Um, so to assign that piece of, as a single piece of work in one hit would be probably intimidating um, at best. Uh, and probably at worst would completely turn students off of actually doing anything at all. So what we needed to do was break this down into uh, smaller digest digestible chunks. So um, went through some effort to, to distinguish between the different um, aspects of the electricity curriculum uh, and chunk them up into smaller pieces which the, could then be set as standalone assignments. Um, there are often, um, particularly in science, some clear differentiation between uh, that sort of foundation uh, level information that everyone, all the students need to know, uh, and then the more technical, more challenging aspects that the, uh, the more able students will need to learn to access those higher grades. So it, it became obvious that we could uh, structure this um, part of the curriculum by differentiating between what we call the grades one to five uh, knowledge and the grades five to nine knowledge. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'll just click on one of these. You can see that there is here um, now uh, a sequence of tabs that appear, which is charges and fields grade one to five. Is a little brief introduction for the students as to what this section is gonna be all about. We then got a, we, uh, a Watch Me, which is an embedded YouTube video. Um, nothing to stop you putting more than one there. We've then got some resources and uh, materials to back up that video. Um, so we call that a README. We then give the students an opportunity to test their knowledge. So a self-assessment process that they go through. So a sequence of questions and answers that they can, uh, that they can look at um, and mark themselves. And then when they're happy, they can go on to our assessment page. Now, most of the assessments that we've done take the form uh, of the frog assessments because on the standalone assignments, which you know would be less than a whole topic and may not even include enough knowledge to kind of uh, to be able to present them with an exam level question, these very quick quizzes are a really good way of getting feedback into your mark books uh, and you're getting a gauge: are they doing the work? Are they engaging with the work? Are they making progress? So actually, throughout this site, most of these tabs will have, in fact, all of these tabs will have a quiz at the end of each sequence. If I just click randomly on another one, you'll see there's another sequence here, um, following exactly the same structure, uh, with a frog assessment, a frog quiz at the end. Um, however, when we complete the section, we also wanted the ability to actually give them much more challenging work. So Again, there is another frog widget that you can use uh, where students can be presented with an exam question, 
and can um, answer that question directly into a textbook, which uh, text box, which will feed directly into your mark book. And again, there's videos from John Parsons on how you can go about marking these things. So actually our sites include multiple ways of getting feedback on what the students are doing. But obviously these more technical ones and more uh, teacher intensive marking ones, uh, we'll use more strategically throughout the site. Right, so to loop back to where I introduced it right at the start, the share option only gives you the ability to share a single page or a whole site. Now this in itself is a whole site, but if I share this whole site, they've got all the work to do. We don't want to do that. The way we got around that, rather than having to set multiple pages just for one single assignment, was to create those all of these pages here, actually as standalone sites, which we've embedded into this Electricity Paper 1 site. Now for us to be able to access those pages, we've integrated them into a tab at the end. This tab will not be seen by any students logged on on the um, on the online system. That's something I could tell you about if you're interested to know. So only teachers will be able to access this page or even see that it exists. But in here, I've now got links to all of these grades one to five and grade five to nine subsections of all of these tabs. What I can then do if when I want to set the piece of work is I click on this. Now you see the whole site that you previously saw embedded in the other site. Um, and this can then be set as a sign site. Uh, so this sort of way, this, um, this mechanism allowed us to get around the technical challenge of not wanting to set them too much work, but also not wanting to set multiple pieces of work for a single assignment. We integrate a whole assignment's worth into these pages. Um, and we've obviously repeated the same structure throughout. Um, uh, and hopefully you will find that helpful.